Amazon doesn't say anything to them. And obviously they have to provide a way for the customer to get on their list. So what is Amazon really going to say if you're offering a warranty on your product? The customer doesn't get to take advantage of it? Well, wait a minute. You want them to get everything that it says on their listing, right? Like you want us to treat the customer well. So if a warranty is part of that and they get more value out of it, it's highly unlikely that Amazon's really going to say too much unless your insert is saying something about leave us a five-star review or some stupid thing like that is that's obviously against TOS. If it's clean and it's neat and you're offering things that are actually of value to the customer, Amazon's probably not going to say too much. The other thing that I would say too is ideally, I wouldn't put it on the outside of your packaging. Make sure that it's on the inside of your packaging. So it's much less likely that an Amazon employee or something is going to see you've got this insert or hang tag or whatever it is. They're not going to open your package, you know, like they're likely not getting inside there. So as long as it's inside the package, you're probably never going to have a problem. Yeah. I mean, um, again, several things that I picked up from everything you're describing. First of all, use the QR code. So always use a QR code. Absolutely. Do you actually put the URL also or just leave the QR code? We use the QR code and we use a short URL so that it's easy to, to place on there and so they don't have to remember too much. It's very easy to type in if they have to. Um, also, this is probably actually a, a fairly critical piece that I think is important. It's not massive, but, but it saves you some money. Um, there's a lot of systems out there like um, SaaS services that allow for QR code generation. Most of them you can get free QR code generation as long as you don't want it to be dynamic. A static QR code you can get for free anywhere. And essentially for anybody who doesn't know the difference, a static QR code goes to a specific URL that will never change. A dynamic QR code goes to a URL that you can change anytime you want, which is kind of nice because that way, essentially you can change the landing page anytime you want, you know, or you can point it someplace else, do whatever. So it's convenient. But you end up paying a monthly fee to those services for the right to be able to change that URL. So what we what I've been doing for quite a while is I use a WordPress plugin. It's a free plugin. Um, I assume there's probably one for Shopify too, you know, or other platforms. We just use WordPress, WordPress, but we install the plugin, it's free. And what it allows me to do is I can create a domain-based URL that goes anywhere I want. And I can change where it goes anytime I want. And it tracks how many clicks I get on that link, right? So essentially it becomes a QR code tracker. Because So what I'll do is I set up, you know, protoproducts.com slash offer slash warranty, whatever, right? And that goes to whatever page I want it to go to. The QR code is generated to point at protoproducts.com slash offer. And so then I can put the QR code on there. I put proto, protoproducts.com slash offer underneath it. So it's fairly short. Um, and then at any time I can change where I'm pointing that URL and I don't have to pay a monthly fee to basically get dynamic QR code generation. I just hold the keys to the, to the dynamic nature of it. So that's one way to save a little money and not be tied to a particular platform for your QR codes. And the landing page itself is just a plain page or it's part of your website? Other things going on on that landing page? Um, it is a separate, I mean, it's on our website, but it's not... It's not really tied necessarily to the website itself necessarily, but um, we've we've done it either way. We change it out, you know, um, and I, I would test it, you know, depending on the customer. Maybe maybe it would give them more comfort for it not to be a landing page. You know, like maybe maybe the customer you're selling to is one who, for whatever reason, deals a lot with um, the types of online sellers who do these long form landing page things, squeeze pages, right? And they maybe they don't like them, right? So if you do that, it's problematic. If instead you send them to a landing page that looks like it's part of a more corporate website, right? It's, you know, more professional. You might actually find that that converts better for that particular customer. I would test it. Yeah. Okay. So, and then they sign up and then right there you are validating. So in terms of the information you collect, you ask for the email address and then you ask them for your, their Amazon order ID. So that must be linked back to some kind of a back end so that it brings up the order, right? Yeah. So we used to, um, I used to use ManyChat. 
um, which you can tie in via API to Amazon system. So you can verify orders that way and pull up order data and whatnot. We used to use that. It worked. It was a little bit clunky, but it worked. Um, we we have since gone to a system that we developed ourselves. It's it's all um, our own code. Um, that's a much simpler, straightforward, streamlined process. There's no flow that they have to go through. It's just bang, 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 and it's done. Um, it's very quick. It gives us a very clean back end for managing all of the data, managing returns and refunds and looking anything up, getting the analytics on it. So that's kind of nice. Um, we actually will be launching that as a service. So we're beta testing right now. So for, for anybody who's currently running a warranty process or a guarantee of some sort or would like to, um, this is a, a simple way to collect that data, makes it really easy for the customer so that you don't lose people to the process, makes it easy for your customer service reps because it's very easy to manage on the back end. It's all tied into Amazon. So the, the orders go out automatically. You don't have to touch it. It's just an MCF order. Um, down the road, we'll have connections into other 3PLs so that you could do it that way if you wanted to. Um, and we'll, be we'll uh, soon have it so that it's connected to Zapier. So it's a very automatic, you can connect it to anything you want. So as soon as registration happens, that information can go wherever, you can trigger other actions, you know, that sort of thing. 